Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today performed Eid al Fitr prayers in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Al Sakhir Palace Mosque. Also, who performed Eid al Fitr prayers along with His Majesty the King were senior royal family members and their Highnesses Sheikhs. His Majesty the King listened to the ceremony delivered by the Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad Al Hajri. الله أكبر 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 In his sermon, the head of Sunni Endowment Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad Al Hajri, underscored the noble values of Eid al Fitr. He prayed that to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and guide him on the right path of success and bless him with continued health and happiness. He also wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further security, safety, progress, and prosperity. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له سبحانه وتعالى خلق فقدر وقد تأذن سبحانه وتعالى بالزيادة لمن شكر وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده المصطفى ورسوله المجتبى ونبيه المرتضى صاحب الوجه الأنور والجبين الأزهر صلى الله وسلم عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أهل السنة والأثر عباد الله اعلموا أن يومكم هذا يوم عظيم وعيدكم عيد كريم أوجب الله عليكم فطره وحرم عليكم صومه وإنه لمن محاسن الإسلام هذا العيد الذي تتم فيه الفرحة والسرور للأنام ويتلاقى المسلمون فيه بالبشر والتهنئة والسلام ويكبرون الله تعالى على ما أولاهم من الفضل وأسبغ عليهم من الإنعام قل بفضل الله وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا هو خير مما يجمعون الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة واصيلا الحمد لله الذي من علينا فأفضل والذي أعطانا فأجزل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له 
خلقنا لعبادته وتوحيده وأنطقنا بتحميده وتسبيحه وتمجيده اللهم صلِّ وسلِّم وبارِك على عبدِك ورسولِك نبيِّنا محمد وارضَ اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين أبي بكرٍ وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر الصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم وتابعيهم بإحسانٍ إلى يوم الدين اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات اللهم اهد قلوبنا واستر عيوبنا واشف مرضانا وعاف مبتلانا وارحم شهداءنا واجعل الجنة مأوانا اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين وعلي كلمة الحق والعدل والدين اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفقه وولي عهده لهداك واجعل عملهما في رضاك واجعل بلدنا هذا آمناً مطمئناً سخاءً وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم أعد علينا شهر رمضان سنين عديدة وأزمنة مديدة ونحن في صحة وعافية وأمن وإيمان وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وتقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأقوال والأعمال وكل عام وأنتم بخير Following the prayers, His Majesty the King exchanged greetings and good wishes with worshippers wishing the kingdom and its people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns of the occasion. The worshippers extended their heartfelt congratulations and good wishes to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect him and guide him on the path in order to carry on the progress currently witnessed by the kingdom across various fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Fitr. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King continued health and happiness and the Arab and Islamic nations more progress and prosperity, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King and achieve all his aspirations for the nation and protect the Kingdom of Bahrain and its citizens and residents under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wishing him many happy returns, the Kingdom of Bahrain and its loyal people and the Arab and Islamic nations further prosperity. He also prayed for the pandemic to be lifted off the whole humanity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa Al Kadhimi. During the call, they exchanged greetings on the advent of Eid Al Fitr, wishing their people and countries further progress and prosperity, and the Arab and Islamic nations well being and blessings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Grand Sheikh of Al Azhar, Dr. Ahmed M. Hamad Al Tayyib. They exchanged greetings on the advent of Eid Al Fitr and wishes of continued progress and prosperity to Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 67 of the year 2021, forming the General Sports Authority Board, chaired by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the membership of the following. His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa as Vice Chairman, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad, Nibras Mohammed Ali Talib, Ms. Hadiya Mohammed Fathallah, Mohammed Fathallah, and Dr. Thomas James. The Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman shall implement the decree, which takes immediate effect from the date of its publication in the official Gazette.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree 68 of the year 2021, appointing Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar as Chief Executive Officer of the General Sports Authority. The Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports shall implement the provisions of this royal decree, which takes immediate effect from the date of its publication in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday met at Rafah Palace the newly appointed Commander of the United States Naval Forces Central Command, Commander of the United States Fifth Fleet and Commander of Combined Maritime Forces Vice Admiral Charles B. Cooper II. His Royal Highness highlighted the strong historic ties between Bahrain and the United States, noting the importance of continued cooperation on military and defense matters as well as other areas of common interest. His Royal Highness welcomed the newly appointed Vice Admiral and wished him every success in his new assignment. Regional and international topics of common interest were also discussed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex and member of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus COVID-19, Dr. Jamila Al Salman, on receiving the Arab Women Medical Excellence Award 2020 by the Arab League General Secretariat. In the cable, His Royal Highness said that the award recognizes Dr. Jamila's contributions to Arab Bahrain's health sector following the spread of COVID-19, noting that the ambitions and motivations of Bahrainis serve as a source of national pride. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wish Dr. Jamila Salman further success. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa following the issuance of the royal appointing the royal decree appointing him as board chairman of the General Sports Authority. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad is well qualified to lead the authority and enable it to develop the sports sector in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed full confidence in the ability of His Sheikh Khalid as a youth leader who has proved his outstanding success in the posts he has held to lead the sports movement towers more progress and success. He also noted his designer Sheikh Khalid's distinguished leadership skills as well as administrative, technical and organizational successes, wishing him and other board members every success in their assignments. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended his gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the issuance of Decree 67 of the year 2021 on forming the Board of Directors of the General Sports Authority under His Highness's chairmanship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the Royal Trust will motivate him to exert more efforts to achieve His Majesty the King's aspirations for further developing sports sector in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the sports sector has made quantum leaps during His Majesty the King's prosperous era, adding that the unwavering royal support for such a vital sector has contributed to attaining multiple achievements at the uh, continental and international levels. His Highness Sheikh Khalid paid tribute to His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his constant support for the sports movement in the kingdom. He added that the plans and strategies launched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser will support the efforts of the General Sports Authority to regulate the sports sector and consolidate sports professionalism. Eid al-Fitr prayers were held today across the kingdom's approved prayer areas and mosques under strict precautionary health measures. Earlier this week, the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments announced that the opening of prayer areas and mosques to enable the citizens and residents to perform Eid al-Fitr prayers amid strict health measures to ensure the safety and health of everyone.
The Protocol and Conventions Directorate at the Ministry of Interior has fired a cannon eight times to announce the advent of Eid al-Fitr. According to Bahraini traditions, the ceremony was aired live from the capital government. <laughs> The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to provide an update on the Kingdom's COVID-19 response. The task force emphasized the importance of adhering to the precautionary measures during Eid al-Fitr. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health and Task Force member, Dr. Walid al mana highlighted that Bahrain is currently fourth in the world in terms of vaccinations administered as a proportion of population and sixth in the world for the number of PCR tests administered. For his part, the infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital and Task Force member Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf Al Gahtani highlighted that the increase in active cases is due to complacency and failure to adhere to precautionary measures designed to safeguard public health. Later, the consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex and Task Force member Dr. Jamil Al Salman highlighted the importance of avoiding gatherings during the Eid Al Fitr holidays and the importance of receiving a vaccine. The working hours have been announced for the COVID-19 PCR test centers during the Eid al-Fitr holiday. The working hours during the first and second day of Eid al-Fitr at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center and Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. While on the third day of Eid al-Fitr, the working hours at both centers will be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The national vaccination campaign will continue during the Eid al-Fitr holiday in Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center and Sitra Mall as well as King Hamad University Hospital during the first and second days of Eid from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. On the third day of Eid, the working hours will be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Health centers will also provide vaccination services throughout the kingdom's governance during the first three days of Eid from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 821,210 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 612,813 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take uh, the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 15,122 with 1,246 recoveries and 1,539 registered new cases. 559 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 970 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The Ministry announced 10 deaths from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. The virus.